And I'm going to ask you to move slowly towards the event horizon. And what we see there, that is on the event horizon. We'd see a frozen image of Rufus on his way across the event horizon. But look what happens to these light cones as he approaches the event horizon. Now, this tilt is caused by the mass of the black hole itself. So let's imagine that on each tick of Rufus's clock, the one on his back, a pulse of light was sent out and we detected that pulse of light from our vantage point. As far as Rufus is concerned, the clock's ticking away normally. One second, two seconds. But as we see it, the first second is faster than the second second, which is faster than the third seconds. And here, on the horizon, the light pulse goes flying up the side of the light cone, which is aligned along the event horizon itself. This pulse never reaches us, so time stops from our perspective. We see that frozen image of Rufus 